uh, if I had the last coin, I'd spend it on PR. I just want to know who, who said it. <laughs> just a minute. If I had the last coin, if I had, there's a quote by who? Just a minute. This is the official YouTube channel for Skills to Grow Africa. My name is Eunice Victoria. I am the founder and director of this organization. I am a practitioner of communication and marketing. I also help practitioners of communication and marketing thrive at their role. Before we continue today, I'd like you to take only 20 seconds to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We had a target of 1,000 last month that we haven't reached. So guys, please, this time we want to reach 1,500 subscribers by end of April. So please, 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 we only have 15 more seconds to go. I think we have 10 more seconds now. I'm so fast at this. Please just subscribe so that we have, you know, the right numbers and also we have some of your friends coming in remember um this is your trusted career partner and you want all your friends in communication in marketing studying journalism studying public relations international relations this is a channel for you so please invite your friends just six more seconds to go please if you haven't subscribed go back <laughs> please go back because we need to just subscribe it will take you just a click pack and then we are done in today's topic, you want to learn what is the relationship between public relations and marketing. Okay, so mm -hmm. marketing is a very important um, department in almost all organizations, especially corporate organizations, because marketing <laughs> because marketing is actually the process of promoting a product, a service. A company a person in order to reach various goals so some of the goals would be maybe generating you know leads raising brand awareness increasing re revenue or even boosting brand engagement so today we're going to learn that how does public relations and marketing combine in some organization you'll find out that the public relations department actually is in the marketing department okay so you'll find out that the marketing manager is the one now in charge of the communication or public relations department. In some organization, you'll find out that public relations department is way different from the communication department, I mean, from the marketing department, and they all probably report to the CEO or the general manager. So, how, why is it that, that these two are connected? We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> so, we want to understand how marketing and PR come in, how they think. And these are five ways I put some notes here to help us, to help me, you know, have uh, the correct train of thought. Number one, PR practitioners in many organizations are known to be these people who do events, okay? But do you know why? Because some people think that what we do is have these celebrities and this nice event with, you know, nice looking people, you know, to come and do nice drinks and so on. Events are actually a great way to network, raise brand awareness and find influencers and even leads. OK, and remember, marketing is about finding leads and these are the people are looking for. So for a PR practitioner, they understand how to create that particular relationship with that lead or where to get such a person or such people okay so while organizing to have an event the pr practitioner will also help you promote your brand okay they'll help you also to connect with your audience and also broaden the pool of people that what you need to know your brand so remember that the first step of becoming a customer is also hearing about the brand so it's a, usually a very good opportunity especially um, when you have it past work hours sometimes i just want to go to an event and chill i remember last week I, I really needed to go for, to, you know, a plug for Saturday, I'm an inform for mm -hmm. Saturday and just, you know, chill. I ended up buying 
uh, is it what a wig? <laughs> you know, I, I didn't mean to buy the wig, but they understand that you know some of us love short hair, and you want to wash your self from the head to the toe. You don't need you know too much hair to be protecting from water. I ended up buying a wig. I ended up in that WhatsApp group. In fact, every month now they've told me there's also a short wig. There's also a big, you know. So sometimes also just creating such events for people to connect and so on. Although you need to target, you have to understand who would be interested in such uh, your product. It's very, very important in creating leads and also just promoting your brand. Number two, many organizations, and this usually make me mad, you know, think that, fabric relations is about press release in fact an organization i used to work for they they thought that pr means press release imagine okay anyway press releases are a very important way of communicating with journalists there's a report that i had last week i think i'll get the number 98 almost 98 percent of practitioners of pr agreed that Actually, press release is the best way to reach a journalist, which I still agree. So understanding how to write a proper press release is very, very important. And now that only the PR practitioner understands how to create a relationship, then it's very important for marketing to work with PR to develop such press releases. And I'm happy that uh, for many organizations, especially the ones I've worked for, they usually have their own media list that they work with and they've, uh, that they've worked with for a long you know, period of time. And there's usually something I, I do the first week that I come to an organization. I try to do some research of who has been writing on this particular, you know, uh, product or organization or even just the industry. You find out that one person or a journalist has been writing for a particular product or organization for almost 12 years. So you can see how much content or how much information this person has on this organization. Okay. So it's very important for marketing to work hand in hand with public relations for such, um, you know, to engage better with the media. And something else about media relations, I think we'll do this in another video. There are different types of media. There's the earned media, owned media, and paid media, among others. Some call shared media. Like for earned media is now where PR or the press release comes in. You know, your news or whatever information you put in that press release has to be newsworthy for it to work. Uh, owned media are what you own, like your website, uh, social media pages, podcasts, YouTube channel like this one, kindly please subscribe. So these are things that you can use to, to you know, help uh, the marketing department to reach leads. Number three, number three, blogging is, a meet, uh, blogging is a meeting point for PR and content marketing. Bloggers are so important. Bloggers are very important right now. You know, they've never been so important. That I, I'm, I'm emphasizing on this because you have to ensure that you understand who or which bloggers or which blogs write on your particular sector. Why this is important, you'll find out that there's a particular blogs that write only on, you know, a sector. Like you can find out that there's a tech blog that writes only on uh, TVs, you know, and the people who follow such blogs are usually very lean. What I mean by lean is people who are really interested in such particular content. So it's a very good way also to get leads, promote your brand, you know, and also have them also review your brand to find out if there are cool things about it. And the ones that are not so cool also, let them just say so that you improve. Okay. And um, there's something else. Um, the more content you put about your organization, your product, the more it's easy for someone to buy because now I, I won't have to listen to other people just go and look, you know, this is how, why Skills to Grow Africa is important, why I need to do a course with uh, Skills to Grow Africa and so on. So it's very important to work with yourself and, I mean, work with your team to put up content, work with bloggers to put up content and so on. And what a better way to do it than work with a PR practitioner or the PR department. Number four, why uh, marketing and PR should work together? Social media, okay? Let me tell you a brief story. When the first organization I worked with, um, 
the communication department was handling social media but the marketing department was like no we should handle social media and i think that happens a lot in many organizations especially organizations that have their marketing department separate from their pr department so i don't know if i can solve this but public relations is about creating and maintaining a mutually benefiting relationship between an organization and its most important publics okay marketing will focus more on leads so is it just customers that we are fo focusing on no it's it's not just customer there are other important um stakeholders within your organization so that's why i feel personally i don't know about your organization that social media should actually be a pr role okay some people have a digital marketing department and some people confuse digital marketing with social media management it's, it's not the same but we'll have the difference in and later you know um we'll know the difference soon <laughs> you know in a later video okay so social media that is handled by the pr department will help us enhance both pr and marketing activities okay so with social media i mean with pr you'll find out that other people that um uh, pr engages is the general public and uh, most of the time you see pr trying to do csr initiatives some people also call it sustainability communication and so on okay so marketing will focus only on the product so imagine having a company that talks about buy this buy please we are giving you kindly buy you know what else do you do apart from telling us to buy okay sometimes it's annoying so if you have a pr department responsible for the social media um page can work hand in hand maybe with market should should work hand in hand with marketing then it's easy to also engage other stakeholders who are involved or the, who operate where your organization is operating in uh, finally number five is newsletters newsletters are an important way of generating leads because with a newsletter you reach the person's email address and you can do it this every week every month but not every day <laughs> no one wants to receive an email from you every day so a company might send out newsletter as part of their pr or marketing ac activities also to enhance brand awareness or introduce a new product or announce a discount and so on so what better way than a pr practitioner you know to help you with this because most of the time the pr practitioner practitioner understands how to write and how to write for which audience so that's another great way of marketing working hand in hand with public relations also on this video i, I just want to let you know that uh, what are the advantages of public relations why do i need a public relations practitioner in my organization and this question is usually asked by someone who is just starting like a startup or just an sme sme that doesn't want to spend so much there's a quote by if i had there's a quote by who just a minute mm -hmm. Um, if I had the last coin, I'd spend it on PR. I just want to know who, who said it. <laughs> just a minute. If I had the last coin. One eternity later. Yeah, here it is. By just a minute. Mm -hmm. This is a quote by Bill Gates. Okay, Bill Gates says, if I was down to my last dollar, I'd spend it on public relations. So, I want us to now get to understand. <laughs> actually, you might be surprised that actually, um, PR is a better performing field than many marketing tactics so what what are the advantages of public relations number one uh, to increase your brand credibility and also to build your brand image and finally to also help you reach more people especially uh, uh, when you want to target a particular group of people 
and that is the end uh, thank you for listening to me remember to subscribe to this particular youtube channel please invite your friends who are interested in marketing in public relations uh, communication journalism this is a youtube channel for you uh, thank you for listening to me and god bless <laughs> all the best and god bless and myself <laughs>